gave you were relatively comfortable in at one nil, or did it never feel like that in the derby? Because it felt like you were kind of in control, and then with the controversy and the goal, it, it then sort of threw up the game a little bit. Well, it's quite similar when I played the two times the final Champions League against United and. And since I'm here in England to play against them, it's an incredible transition team. Remember that with uh, with Rooney, with Cristiano Ronaldo, with and uh, first half it was we start really well, we control well, but we we di were not in the right position when just in case we lose the ball to avoid them run. Second half we adjust and it was uh, brilliant. So it's what similar game I would say like we played um, many times here. It got uh, got a good results, knowing the quality of the opponent, the history. Of this club and playing in Old Trafford, but uh, uh, we behave and we perform in our best. We miss a little bit up front, the quality, the brilliant for the players, but sometimes it happens. That is not a problem. The problem is no behave like we were a few days ago in Southampton. Today was completely different, like we are. And, um, and yeah, congratulate United for the, for the victory. No, come on. Of course, I care to win the Premier League, but if though, but if he's though, right now after Southampton, if you don't win, don't win. So we are not going to win the next 25 years. Uh, every day we will fight because we saw today you want to fight and we play to win. But sometimes football is like that. You, you don't win. The, the manager Eric or the people who say how good they are, they deserve it. Of course, everyone has his point of view. But of course, we. We we wanna we wanna try, but when a one is behaving this way, and after sometimes happens, sometimes not, and I know all the time what you have to do is do it better and better and better to win this, in this league, and 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 like it happened. So we lost the Carabao Cup three days ago. We lost it, but it's not about lost the Carabao Cup. It's the way we lost lose the game. This is what uh, I was sad, really really sad. Today, what I said to the players, what I said to the players, what can I say to the players? With this personality, like they run behind us most of the time and just punish you uh, in the contract, like it's the history for this club, you know, the transition, the quick there with Rashford, with Anthony, with Martial, and they are really good doing this. And in general, so to control that, you have to sit back. You have to sit back, wait there, and after they will not run. But that is not the way we want to try to do it. We wanted to do it in the way we were close, not close enough. We miss a little bit up front, but in general, the performance I'm satisfied. Sam, uh, you, you mentioned when Big Peter's goal, you seemed a bit unhappy about the equaliser. Rashford is an offside, Bruno Fernandes is not offside. The question is intervene or not intervene in the action. When one player for 80 yard about shoot and one player is in front of the keeper, no touch the ball. Intervene or intervene is disallowed all the time because there. So the situation is the decision is the of course the the referees the VAR. If if uh, the influence for Rashford in making influence for our central defender and uh, make a line to know it because otherwise if no is Bruno Fernando we don't stop the line we follow the action we don't make offside we follow the action and after the action intervene from Eddie or or not intervene. But this is decision in this stadium with the referee and VAR. So, and now we cannot do that. What did improve? Uh, after concede the goal, the next three minutes we cannot concede the next one, and we were there to score. Come, come, come! And this is the most important detail. We have to improve. Yes or yes for the future. Does it prevent us from that happening? Does it make it impossible for a defender to defend that situation then, if Rashford seems not to? Ma Manu, Ma Manu Kanji sees no side and stop the line. If he knows that he's going to be with Rafun, he's going to go backwards with him, he's going to do the duel one against one, and after you see what happened. But can intervene the action, it's a decision for the referee, it's the same. They shoot an offside 80 yard box, the line is high, and offside is one player behind the line, in the line for the keeper. It's offside and offside, 10 to 10 is offside. When that intervened, the referee said intervene. Here they decide no intervene in this stadium. It's okay. What do they have to do? We are going to make a complaint to them? No. So congratulations, that sometimes happen in our side, sometimes that. The decision is they didn't believe Rashford was intervening in this action. When this happened, so. Do you think in another stadium that would have been good? It's, it's all tough. You have to play much better. It's all tough, like it's Anfield. You have to do better. 
outside the season, you do back from wide. Do you, do you think the referee should have took another look at that on, on, the, on the pitch side screen? He would have seen Rashford moving towards the ball, which maybe he didn't see in real time. What I say, we run ball from field four, and immediately the lineup is here. So if the action goes there, it makes like this, it's finished action. Our offside all the time, we don't wait to be a yard, it's offside and offside. When you go to the right line, maybe the cross. In this action, didn't do it. When the potential offside or ratio is, is big. So, but Bruno Fernandez is not offside. But the question is, he intervene, for the referees intervene or make an action to distract the central defender, like of course a stop because the other one or the keeper like pretend is going to shoot Rashford and immediately Bruno Fernandez shoot. For Eddie, so he's going to shoot. So that's the point. So, but the rule is the rule, and the interpretation belongs to the the referees. I said Rashford is offside. Bruno, no. The situation is the referees. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we had to find him a little bit more in the final third. Uh, we tried to drop him, but knowing that Shaw and Baran will follow him, there is one some actions. Uh, they have uh, an action in the air. Yeah, they have one or two or three, but it's not easy to create chances. So United, the last games, he didn't concede one goal in the Premier League. We concede one. We had one or two other ones for the last pass, for the last cross, for the last a little bit moments. And guys. Uh, give a lot of credit for United for the quality they have and the players they have. So so I know which opening we are going to play and, and we knew it, but we behave good. We behave how we were these six years since we are together. That many times we came here and do this. So monopolize the ball, they just defend, defend and wait in the actions and yeah, they did it in the right moment. The first half they have one or two clear chances because we were not well set up and the possible the possible transitions, and I know they are there. They control with Bruno and the other ones. They have they have two wingers wide and put the ball there. They are fast, so it's not easy to defend 30, 40 meters in front with these two guys. But Manu and Nathan were brilliant, and and I think Kyle and Joao and everyone, everyone was was really good. Any perception of Stamford? It's been a bit up and down. No. So what do you think is unpredictable? No. Uh, the, 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 this type of period of Southampton is, I cannot defend. Um, my people uh, that were support us because there's nothing to get it. A part of that, in general, we were we play good, we think the feeling we play better, but this is about results, and results is not that consistent that we had in the past. That is a reality. And yeah, work on that. Continue and. And and I said to the players, don't waste energy. I'm going to a press conference, but don't waste energy thinking what happened and focus on the sports, the sports. But from my experience, when you start to talk a lot, you ask me about the referee. You ask me, referee will not talk about that or that, this action. I would not say we will not lose for this action. Of course, it was involved in the important one. But there was energy thinking what happened in the past. You are in the next game, and after you take another break. So the, uh, the best we can do is analyze what we do the things we have done good and what we can improve and focus in the sports uh, because now it's done, it's gone. For the next time we are going to play with uh, United, uh, we will see what they have to do differently. Uh, every time we play against them, they will know better, but we will know them better and try to find a way to, to beat them like we was in, in, in Etihad Stadium a few months ago. Uh, that they were quite similar than today. The different that with there we were more clinical. They were, of course, playing at home is completely different. Uh, to to move forward. Take a few questions and bag off the centre. So I'll probably play the back of the mic.